Our Mass this morning on this Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross is prayed for the living intention of John and Joan Schmidt and the deceased intention of our beloved Gerald Horn. Mount it on a pole. And if anyone who is 
with it, bitten, looks at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived.
looks like Jesus' body is supporting, holding up, giving the cross its shape and its form. The body of Christ and the cross are assumed into one thing so that we, we really don't see a difference between the crucified body of Christ and the cross. There's no difference. And not only is this the mystery of holy matrimony that St. Paul speaks of, where a man and his wife become one, but this is the mystical marriage of Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church. There is no difference between Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church. The two have become one. Anyone who says he hates the Catholic Church says he hates Jesus Christ. There is no difference between the bridegroom and the bride. They are one. Just as Jesus picks up the cross and he carries it to Calvary to die on it, so Jesus picks up the Catholic Church and carries his bride to assure her sin, assume his sinfulness to himself, to wash her sins away with his blood. Jesus brings his bride to his heavenly father. Look what I brought home, Dad. My wife. The Catholic Church. The one who sent me to earth to die for. I've redeemed her. I've saved her. Bye, guys. The whole cross is 
We're so close to working on plenary indulgence, so we'll recite the creed in this Mass so that we can make it all the more easy. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God. Good win. 
even more gracious for us as they make the spiritual community for us. We pray to the Lord. Oh, pray for the dead, those who have successfully carried their crosses to their own personal Calvary and died on them. Pray at this Mass, especially for Gerald and Bill. Shall we rest in the Lord? Yeah. Shall we rest in May he rest in peace. Yeah. May Gerald's soul with all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Yeah. <clears throat> we pray that the cross of parenthood would be accepted by the mom and the dad, the baby that we have spiritually adopted, the one in danger of abortion. So we call on Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, the loving very much, that you spare the life of sight, the unborn baby that we have spiritually adopted, who's in danger of abortion. We pray in Mary prayer to our lady of sorrows, that she would pray for us now and at the hour of our death. She stands by as we try to die in our crosses for the sake of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, amen. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Heavenly Father, we ask thee here to answer all of these prayers, to grant them to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine and work with human hands, it will become our spiritual friend. My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. Fill the praises of the glory of His name. Our God, the all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross canceled the offenses of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth. And the evil one, who conquered on a tree, might likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our Lord, through him. The angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices be prayed join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, thou hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
all who pray right against your friends. But through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, as the power and the Holy Spirit, who give life to all things and make them holy, you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to the setting, pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration. They may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body.
So you wake the blessed hope with the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. You know the power of the Holy Spirit now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and peace I give you. Not on your sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all.
your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those who have redeemed by the word of your life giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We'll pray uh, those three prayers to the Holy Father. Thank you for opening up this treasury of graces so this year uh, of plenary indulgence for St. Joseph. And we'll pray those uh, our Father and Mary and glory be for his special intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, O women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We'll pray that prayer to God uh, that St. Uh, Francis wrote that's on the back of the holy card. Pray that prayer for crucifix, and then I would ask you just to uh, say one other prayer uh, in honor of St. Joseph on his uh, holy year to the plenary indulgence. We pray together. Almost Lord, 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 glorious God, in the darkness of my heart, give me, Lord, a firm faith, sure hope, perfect love, profound humility, sign and knowledge so that I may carry out The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing on this feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross. May God, the Father of mercies, who has given you an example of love and the passion of his only Son, grant that by serving God and your neighbor, you may lay hold of these wondrous gifts. Amen. Amen. So that you may receive the reward of everlasting life from him through whom, whose earthly death you believe that you shall escape eternal death. By following the example of Christ's self-abasement, may you humbly take up your cross, that you might possess a share in the Lord's resurrection. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth with great joy in your heart to continue to proclaim Christ to the world. Go in peace. Thanks for your time. St. Michael the Archangel. into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>